Thank you. Can you hear me? How is that? Yeah. My name is Louise and I'm speaking in my personal capacity as a woman and a mother. Like many of you, I'm being name called, attacked, bullied by people whose views are different to mine. Ironically, those calling names and attacking are those who preach kindness, acceptance, tolerance and inclusion the loudest. I've noticed a few obvious trends. If people disagree with what you say, it's hate speech. If people don't like the information you share, it's misinformation. If you have an opinion that differs to theirs, you must be silenced. I don't, believe, I don't believe that the views I hold are radical. I want to share my views with you today. Firstly, everyone, absolutely everyone, deserves the right to live a safe, happy and healthy life. Everyone is equal and everyone should be treated fairly. The vast majority of transgender and gender diverse people are very, very decent people. Sex is real and it is currently impossible to change a person's sex. There has always been a spectrum when it comes to how different people present themselves such as females who are more masculine and men who are more feminine. Wait for this one. Trans women are trans women. They remain biological men. Yes. Women are women. And I personally find the cis unnecessary and offensive. Everyone, including transgender people, should have the ability to enjoy and compete safely in sport. It is unfair and unsafe for biological men to compete in women's sporting categories, especially after puberty and in physical sports. Every space, opportunity and award that goes to a biological men from the female category is one taken away from a woman. Gender dysphoria is real and cause greater, can cause great distress. It is possible that trying to change your gender or become non-binary non is a way for some people to gain attention and stand out. It is right. It is right to ask questions and demand evidence when it comes to putting kids on puberty blockers and fake hormones, given they have significant implications. It is right to ask questions and demand evidence when it comes to teenagers having major irreversible surgery, such as their forearms massacred to create fake penises and their healthy breasts removed. It is essential to support and research detransitioners. While the majority of men are decent, kind and caring people, men present an inherent danger to women. The vast majority of sex offenders and violence perpetrators are men. One in ten women, Australian women, have experienced violence at the hands of a stranger. One in five Australian women has experienced sexual violence. You can't be raped with a penis if there is no penis present. You can't be overpowered by a man who has the strength and the power of, of a post-puberty man if there is no man present. You can't feel uncomfortable undressing in front of a man if there is no man present. It is completely understandable that women would want spaces for female only spaces, especially vulnerable areas like change rooms, toilets, showers. It is absolute insanity that we have a law that allows a man at 10 a.m. to declare he's a woman and by 11 a.m showering and sharing change rooms with young girls. That is freaking nuts. The women before me and around me have fought hard for women's fair rights and now they are being demolished. You may agree with what I've said, you may not. That's natural and to be expected. As a society, we must be able to debate important issues and respect differences without threats, attacks, name calling, vandalism and attempts to get people silenced and cancelled. Thank you.